Here's a video of your 2021 423 Raptor. Looks like they're getting ready to do some ceramic coating. Um, got the generator fired up, 5500 watt uh, Onan generator. Here's your 100 amp hour deep cycle interstate battery. Uh, this one also has the auto level. There's instructions here, um, but well, like a quick tutorial. If you turn it on, if you hit front, it raises the front. If you turn retract on, it hit front, it lowers the front. And then if you want to level it, you just hit auto level and uh, it drops all the jacks down, all four in the back. Levels front to back, side to side, and that's all automatic. Your battery, uh, we will put it here for you. There's your inverter. Transfer switch for the generator. I said shower. Uh, if you want to winterize, that's where you hook your hose up to winterize, turn this on, hit the pump, and then you're cycling through the trailer. You can fill the city water, or you can fill the tank from here by turning that valve, or you can just use city water. Just depends what you're up to. Black tank flush. That'll clean out the sewer. And then you got your gate valves here. So if you want to hook your hose up, pull the black, dump it, and then hook the hose up and flush that out for a few minutes. Um, low point drains, hot and cold water. Battery disconnect. Tankless water heater, you turn that on from inside. Well, actually, you know what? There's an on-off button here as well. Exhaust for the furnace, exhaust for the Jenny. We got the wheels torqued at 120 foot-pounds. The factory's done it, we've done it, but we'd like you to check it again. Um, yeah, I'd check it again a few more times. You got a fuel tank uh, for the pump, and then one in the rear, that's for the generator. And this turns the fuel pump on. There's your 50 amp cord. You got all the adapters that run with it, 50 to 30, also 30 to 15. Uh, back doors on the solenoid. There's a key back here um, that unlocks it. There's also a manual backup inside, a uh, little pull handle that you can do it um, in case you have an issue with it. Outside speakers. Outside kitchen. griddle our grill outside tv refrigerator we got three awnings in here too here's your um one touch in command center so if the touch screen inside fails you can check it here you got 30 foot of vacuum hose that comes with it 50 to 30 amp adapter and then 30 to 110 and you also have an outside shower hose. There's your hydraulic reservoir for your six point auto level. You got your theater seating, you got heat and massage. Looks like he's got all them going. There's your refrigerator. Central vacuum. Uh, keys are on the faucet. You got a key for the front door. You got a key for the rear entrance door. And then again, you got a key for that back door. Key for the storage doors. So you got four or five sets of keys. Washer dryer hookup, thermostat. Now the back, um, back room, so the bottom bunk pushes that up. Once you push it up, you pin it and hold it in place. So there's a pin in each corner, right below the top bunk. That's the only way to hold that up. So you raise the um, bottom bunk up, pin underneath the top bunk, and then lower the bottom bunk again, and then you can turn it into a sleeping area or you can just use it for a bed. You got three seasons doors. There's your emergency pull cable. Um, you got a ladder for the loft or the bunks, and then you got the stairs for the back door. There's your 50 amp cord. There's your water heater, you turn it on here, and then you can adjust the temperature. Looks like he's got that rolling. Here's your digital touchscreen. At a glance, I can tell you how full the tanks are. 
Um, I could turn the lights on and off. I could turn the water pump on and off. So these are things you can do by just turning it on. To get into it deeper, um, four zeros, which you can change in the settings. You can start the generator. Uh, you can run the awnings in and out, slide rooms in and out. And then you can do the lights individual. Um, heating, cooling, pretty simple. Fan, cool, and off. And then fan, cool, and off. And heat, I'm sorry. Uh, this will open and close the, um, the vent in the kitchen. Okay, so that has a rain sensor on it. So if it rains um, or it gets wet, it won't open or close. This is a thermostat for the living area AC. There it goes. And then this will raise and lower the front of the, or actually um, this will turn the, the tanks, the heaters on the tanks on and off. In case you get cold weather. And then this will raise and lower the front part of the hitch. little chargers next to the bed for your phone TV uh, shower needs to be locked open when traveling that's what we've done there